Lord is asking me to count the number seven and people are going to start running out from all the auditorium and the overflows by the spirit. It is a strong grace for speed, an antidote to delay. I begin my counting. Bring them out. One. My goodness. Two. You will be surprised. Some of you, you do not even think you will be the people. Three. Four. I'm counting seven. That's what God is telling me. Five. Get ready now six my goodness may that grace for speed that swallows up delay are you ready seven receive that grace now receive that grace now speed 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 every delay every stagnation speed over your life 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 Sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been drawn into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been drawn into the sea. This is a word for someone remember ye not the former things madam whose cap are you lifting come you will not die where is he i'm seeing that the man is in this place oh yes, is he there. here come here. don't be embarrassed sir please come See here, I just want to speak over his life. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We're honored to have you. And thank God for your wife. I just want to speak a word over your life in the name of Jesus for you and your wife, sir. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. You will not die, not in battle not by conspiracy Amen. who is with that crutch you my dear look at me in the name of jesus walk lift it up walk who is lifting it up help them please mama in the name of jesus walk how she came mama look at me you believe in Jesus how long has this been how long has this been For more than 30 years now. more than 30 years eight, eight, eight. mama look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I bring life to you Amen. by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead Amen. life to you Amen. come follow me Amen. Just careful with her, come. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Careful, careful. I decree and declare that this situation, this demonic thing comes to an end now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now everyone who is on a crutch or holding an, a chair or a stretcher, every inability to walk, whether you are here or in all the overflows or outside in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I speak over you now by the power that raised Christ from the dead let life come to you begin to walk now begin to walk now if you could not walk stand up and try walking now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in
in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is healing peptic ulcer I'm seeing someone you've suffered is is acute ulcer severe pain severe pain especially around your chest in the name that is above all names I don't know who that person is but the power of God is touching you now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ now I don't know if I, I don't know if it's a symptom of something but I'm seeing someone your hair is falling off your hair you are a lady your hair is falling off I don't know if it's as a result of any medical procedure or whatever it is but you are losing your hair and God wants me to pray for you right now you are losing your hair who is that person I want to pray for you I'm going to pray this is a demonic thing this for one of you this has nothing to do with medicine this is a demonic issue I stretch my hands right now. For the head, the, the woman's hair is a glory, the Bible says. I prophesy right now in the name of Jesus, every altar that is responsible for this, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I cause it right now in the name of Jesus listen I don't know at what age hair grows or doesn't grow that is none of my business I prophesy a restoration of your hair as a sign that God is restoring your glory in the name of Jesus Christ I'm saying it again that every altar every altar I'm hearing a name Kaza chat Kaza chat. I presume this is a Kaduna name. Kaza chat. This is what I'm hearing. Whether you are here, whether you are in Zari, I'm hearing the name Kaza chat. I don't know who that person is, but the Lord wants to avert the spirit of death from the family of Kaza chat. If I didn't pronounce it well, my apologies. I'm only speaking as I heard. Kaza chat. I use this name as a point of contact. Any family here. That the devil is already programming death from now that you will not enter 2023 in the name of Jesus I command those altars judge now shout a loud amen those altars judge now hallelujah praise the name of the Lord there is a gentleman God is showing me here you started applying for jobs since 2017 till now you have not gotten anything you are a gentleman you have applied applied you applied in Abuja you applied in Lagos you applied online you've done everything you have even prayed and fasted and it looks like the doors of jobs will not be open the Lord is saying I should tell you this year will not be over before you get your job I don't know who that person is but I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God hallelujah don't be offended and I don't want you to come out but there is a woman you see I don't believe in the ministry of condemnation we help by the Spirit but there is a woman because of a prolonged childlessness you again went somewhere and it's not like you were, you were even uncomfortable but they took you somewhere where somebody will supposedly maybe do something to help you and from that time it has been affecting you you have been bleeding this has this is a demonic thing wherever that person is in the name of Jesus we dissociate you from those demonic things we dissociate you from those demonic things hallelujah Jennifer I'm hearing a name Jennifer and the Lord is telling me it has come to an end help them please it has come to an end this is what I'm hearing in my spirit it has come to an end Jennifer the word 
Jennifer, that's what I'm hearing. I'm about to pray. It has come to an end. I stretch my hands right now. I don't know what it is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, Jennifer, let it come to an end now. Now, 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, it comes to an end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking under the unction of the spirit. I say it again, it comes to an end. Ah. There is a family right now God is delivering. Marriage does not work in that family. No matter, even if you marry, you must return back to your husband's house. I just saw light. I don't know where that family is, whether you are inside or outside, but the power that has tied down the power that has tied down the marital destiny of that family. I lose that family now. Hallelujah. I lose that family now. Now, Azaria family is also following. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing two ladies. I'm just seeing the venue, our venue in Zaria. And I'm seeing two ladies in the name of Jesus. The fire of God is coming upon them right now. And the Lord, I'm hearing the word restoration. I believe it's not just for them, but I'm praying for someone. There is a mantle that is coming on someone for strange restoration. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. That power will come upon you. This is between now and 15th of December. You will come and testify. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that grace right now. Help them please. Help them please. Help them. Receive that grace right now. Between now and 15th of December. I prophesy to you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Restore. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a word for someone. The trouble that is surrounding your office needs the miracle hand of God now. If not, I'm seeing something about to happen to you by next month. This is a career person. Antagonisms around your office. And with what I'm seeing, it's like a query later. And I'm seeing something that is making you lose your job. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. But I'm speaking to you by God who is the helper of men. I turn things around for your favor. I turn things around for your favor. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing a family. You are watching from National Hospital. National Hospital here in Abuja. You are at the sick bed with somebody, a patient. And I'm seeing you are watching, someone is watching the video. When it's time to pray for the sick, I want your heart to be open. The Lord is encouraging you so that you will know that no matter where you are, He is able to touch you by His Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are 11 people here. Please listen. 11 people you are in business. The grace is a strong unction for entrepreneurship. You are already in business. That anointing is coming on you in three months. Three months from today. The way God will shift you, it will surprise you. 11 people. 11 people. I stretch my hands right now. 11 people inside and outside may that grace rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now hallelujah i'm hearing a name this is a house name hafsatu is it hafsatu hafsatu who is that What is your name? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jerusalem State. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Lift your hands. 
of the border upon you God is going to raise you as a warrior even for your family listen carefully I want you to take some time maybe a day or two or three and just fast and pray and ask the Lord to direct you don't be careless about your life there is a grace that was upon the border upon you I stretch my hands for you and I pray for the remaining I, I don't know why they are out but may, probably their names or their loved ones but I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah bring the gentleman that shouts right now under the anointing i want to talk to him there is a gentleman there is a strong anointing not a lady a gentleman if you can please this gentleman is wearing white this is what i'm seeing in my vision when the power of God comes on him, let me know. Please bring him. Let's hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Allah shadakatosa brandege barahosia. Shalagade brandege biyase. There is a man of God here. Please hear me. There's a man of God here. You are in the overflow. You are not outside. You are in the overflow, not the basement. You know, one of the overflows here. You came with a hunger for your ministry because things have not been working. As I'm speaking right now, the power of God is coming upon you. Your one prayer request is not even for yourself. You are saying, Lord, I have done my best. I don't want to compromise, but truly, the ministry is not working. In the name that is above all names, I declare that an unction comes upon you right now. Is this the gentleman? Father, leave him. Okay, he can stand. Stand, my friend. Where are you from? Huh? Cross River State. Cross River. Yes, I want to pray for you. The Lord is bringing captivity to end in your family. What do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I teach poets. <laughs> I'm seeing you in prison. I have to pray for you. Don't be. Don't feel bad. Eh? I'm not. I'm here to help you. Don't feel bad. I'm seeing something happening, and I'm seeing you in the court. And from court, they are locking you in the prison. This has to do with people's money. You need to be careful. You need to seek advice. You are already in trouble now as you are standing. It's not even like you are free. It's just that it's going to be more trouble that will land you in prison. You need help, eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that wants to put this gentleman in trouble, I decree and declare, be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. But that's not even why I asked you to come out. The Lord is going to use you to really deliver your family. You believe that yes, i stretch my hands over you and i pray in the name of jesus may that grace of a deliverer rest upon you in the mighty name of jesus christ i'm seeing a woman a strong anointing coming on you you own a restaurant a restaurant this is food business and i'm seeing the grace of god it's going to be a new season god is opening very strange doors you will be surprised to see the kind of clientele that god connects you with this will happen by the spirit i'm declaring it unto you in the mighty and matchless name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me a woman you are not you are not young you are you are quite an elderly woman god has granted you grace right from when you were young 
the grace to have prophetic dreams many things that are happening in nigeria today god showed you in dreams it's just that you did not know that this thing is a call upon your life i don't know who that person is but god is speaking to me that i should talk to you whether you are following online or you are listening god is saying i should tell you to take the time to pray and ask the lord to fan the coals of that prophetic dimension of your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the i understand our time is short we're going to seriously pray and have some time to cry out our hearts before god and we're going to tell him that there be a purging and a refining for classroom students a refining remember we've not said anything about your pursuit we'll have time to discuss all of those things hallelujah but tonight we are going to cry god desires you he desires your heart he desires everything about you everything 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 tonight we are going to lay down every isaac many of us have been giving god ishmael tonight you must give him isaac the day you give god isaac you will know this is isaac hallelujah rise upon your feet praise the lord in the next few minutes i don't know how you are going to pray i don't know how you're going to cry to god hallelujah but i just want us to enter a phase of prayer and deep worship forget about class one right now you are alone with god within the next few minutes some of us you need to talk to god and say lord this is it this is what i've been waiting for my soul longs after you drop titles preacher i know you have raised the dead i know you have healed the sick some of you are powerful people some of you have excellent academic standing that's not what i'm asking tonight you are going to cry to the lord from the depths of your heart and tell him lord take over if there is any part of my life that has not been totally surrendered to you take it tonight break as you're as you're praying god is going to be giving us instructions many of us our associations must leave us this night lift your voice and begin to cry to him i need you i need you lord for nothing no place no one else will do i need you i need you lord for you satisfy the longing inside i need you Go ahead and cry. Say, Lord, I'm not pretending it again. I love you, but I do not think I desire you that much. I'm not going to lie tonight. I'm not hiding it. Please mean it from the depths of your heart. Zibrekete bo sa tanda ba dia ba sa ta zi brekete bo sa ba 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 ba
Alléluia. Come on, press from the depths of your heart. I say, I say, Make sure you're praying. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. My love, my life, it all belongs to you. Belongs to you. There is a circumcision happening. Belong to you. Come on, sing it one more time. My heart. My heart. My mind. My soul. Belong to you. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seta kapakata bakam ratekede. I parado se palia na bako se brege de baka brege de bongre di la bosa. Man brete se palia na baka brege de bosa palia na ba. Goodness, I tell you, there is a mighty circumcision that is going from this place all around your campus. You are coming to the end of yourself. You are losing confidence to gain the excellence of His presence. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of my soul. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of my soul. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of my soul. Hallelujah. Please listen to me, everybody. Hallelujah. There are a few people in this place. God is going to separate them and they will enter certain dimensions. Oh. Listen, I want you to walk with me now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, let me use it. I think it's working. Hallelujah. Glory of God is here. I see the angels of God walking across this place. So many of them. You're standing on holy ground. Hallelujah. Now listen. The Lord is instructing me. There are some of you that you will be called deeper into the presence of God. Not everybody, but a few people are going to be separated in a mighty way. And he will use you in a mighty way. This is what we'll just do. I have a few minutes. It's going to be a mighty call and a separation and an impartation. Please rise up on your feet. I'm going to pray for you. Strings. I tell you, there are so many angels in this place right now. So many angels. So many angels. He's Shekinah. And I see them holding bowls of fire. The angels of the Lord. They are about to separate. Spirit of the living God. Now listen. I'm going to pray for you. As I pray for you, there will be mighty angelic activities in this place. They have ushers, right? There are some of you, the power of God is going to come in a mighty way upon you. That separation, that fire, it's an encounter you will never recover from. And for those people, they're going to come out right here. Thank you, Jesus. My love, my power, my in my life. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. I'm going to count three. And I want you to lift up your hands at the count of three. With all your might, I want you to shout the name Jesus. For some of you, as soon as you shout that name, there will be an effulgence of the life and the power. The unction of the Spirit will come. There is a separation that God is doing tonight. And this is all... There is so much hunger in this place. Not everybody, but there are people that truly desire an encounter. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lift your hands, everyone. Please lift your hands unto God from the depths of your heart. See the rain of your love. See the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. All right, now I see the wind of God. At the count of three, with all your might, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. The angels of God will begin to move as soon as that name is called. And the fire of God will be imparted on many of us. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three. Out of the spirit, be up. Out of the spirit, be on. I ignite your spirit with fire. I ignite your spirit. Shake it, Papa. Man, break it, let the wind of the Spirit blow. Let the fire of the Spirit separate man. Separate man. Separate man. Prophetic encounters. Prophetic I command prophetic encounters. Touch your lips. Touch your hand. You are in for an experience you will never recover from. Never. Experience will burn like fire across this campus. I came to plant a fire of revival. Sepa baba shata la kapa. Sepe kete na bakaya. Set this campus on fire, O God. Let an activity of the Holy Ghost begin in this campus. My God, I pray. Lift your hands again, everybody. Lift your hands again. I see prophetic mantles falling at the count of three. Prophetic mantles. One, two, take it. Take it now. Take it. Take it. Take it. I have to eyes. Be open. Ibrakapa, <laughs> 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 
He's the realm of your glory. He's the realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wing. I like the voice of many waters. I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. Holy. You are holy. Thank you, Jesus. There is a dimension higher than what you have seen before. There is a level greater than what you have walked in before. And the Spirit of the Lord is calling you deeper tonight. University of Ibad and the Spirit of the Lord is calling you. I have come with an apostolic mandate to set fire upon this campus. And within these two days, there will be encounters that will release men. Men will be released into dramatic levels. For I see a new fire that will be rising upon this campus. The Spirit of the Lord shows me a revival that will begin. It will be mighty men of understanding. Men who will begin to walk with the Spirit. Once upon a time, if the fire of revival came, but pride and immorality killed it, said the Spirit of God. But he said, one more time, I am visiting this campus. And he is coming with great fire. Coming with great grace. Coming with great grace. Coming with great grace. Coming with great grace. He's going to be raising mighty men. Mighty men. Mighty men. David will arise. Many prophetic worshippers are going to arise. Even from this campus, so the spirit of the living God. Many people are going to walk in levels of power and levels of grace. You will see my glory even as it arises from within you. Your weaknesses will be swallowed up by a new level of grace to have the spirit of God. Your weaknesses will be swallowed up by a new level of grace. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Please listen. For whatever it is, please do not miss tomorrow's meeting. There's no time to pray for the sick right now. I see lots of people who are sick, lots of people who need to be delivered. Hallelujah. And there are some of you, you have prayed, some of you, your academic standing is not your fault. It's a demonic thing. The Lord has sent me and in the name that is above all names, we are to be settling some things between today and tomorrow. I'm going to take time to teach tomorrow. Please, if it is permitted, allow other people who are not class phone people to come. I, I am begging on behalf. Where is the president? President, where are you? Is that okay? Please. What God is doing in this place is beyond class phone. 
Are you getting my point? There is a fire that God is going to be igniting here. As many people, I don't know what the venue will be tomorrow. Even if you are going to stand on the gate, please stand. This is not just some publicity gimmicks. Come early and sit down. I'm going to be sharing with you something. Something powerful. And God is going to be doing mighty things. Hallelujah. There are lots of things that God has revealed to me, but I cannot communicate right now. I'll just minister to one person and, and then that's all. My time is up. I have to work with the time. Tomorrow I hope that we are going to have enough time. Grace, who is Grace? Grace, Grace, Grace. Come quickly. You are wearing a black veil. Grace, she's wearing a black, like you tied your head with a black veil. Come. Do you know me? Have you ever seen me? Isaac, Isaac. Isaac, 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 I'm hearing the name Isaac. Who is Isaac? Isaac. There is, a, there is a gentleman here called Isaac. You are wearing a white, you are wearing a white shirt inside, shirt or singlet, white shirt inside before your main shirt. Who is that? You are wearing something white. This is it. Can you see the white shirt here? Inside. Shebalaka denda krosatale grabada silakaya. We're in the realm of your glory. We're in the realm of your grace. Lord, we see your mighty power moving in this place. There is a lady right now. The power of God is going to come upon her and she's going to shout. It's a loud shout. It's a loud shout. It's going to happen right now. When that happens, let the lady come out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let your word go forth. Let your power locate that person. The power of God is going to come upon a lady in a dramatic way. In a dramatic way. When that happens, please. It's going to be a loud shout. Loud. Bring her. We're in the presence of angels. With God's glory on your wings And like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy Hallelujah Tomorrow Some of you are going to carry this anointing you see today not everybody. Oh. There are some of you that will carry this thing. Not everybody. I'm not. Food. This is not just entertainment. There are some of you. God brought you here. There is a walking. Some of you do not even know you are the ones, but you will be turned into another man tomorrow. Turned into another man tomorrow. This lady's shout, the Bible says in the season of Jubilee there will be a restoration. And her shout was a prophetic shout to this campus that there is going to come an academic restoration. Listen, there are many students, I see, I see a lot of victimization and there will be dramatic restoration. It's going to be by the finger of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My dear, the Lord is going to visit your family. Huh? Where is your mother? Your mother. Your mother is at home. I want you to tell your mother. Huh? Do you know me? Have we ever met? I want you to tell your mother that a major breakthrough is going to come into the family. That this is what the, Lord of, the, the word of God said. When it comes, you will know it is it. You believe that? God bless you. My brother, you may look ordinary, but God is going to do mighty things with your life. Are you getting my point? Look at me. Father, use him. Ignite him right now with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let a fire come upon you that will ignite you to do mighty things. You will teach the word with power. You will teach the word with grace. You may look weak, but forget about your weakness. 
it is in your weakness that his strength is made perfect there are many things that have gone wrong in your life but in this season god is bringing order god is bringing a lot of order in your life a lot of order a lot of order in your life a lot of order is coming into you jesus we lift up your name jesus we lift up your name that man of God, you have tried, but this is not it. Hmm. Hallelujah. Every time I saw people, I sat in church and I saw the coldness. I saw the, the informality. I saw the non challenge that believers had. I was amazed. I said, Lord, who taught these people? Who got them born again? What were they taught? The psalmist said, As the deer pants after the water brooks. Are you getting blessed tonight? Am I wasting your time? I'm putting a passion in your heart. My soul longs and even faints for you. I'm giving you my testimony. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God for the living God incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face I'm burning longing for you I need you I need you. I need you. Nothing, no place, no one else will do. I need you. I need you. I need you, Lord. I need you. For you satisfy the hunger inside. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. Nothing, no place, no one else will do. I need you. I need you, Lord. I need you. For you satisfy the longing inside. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Listen, I was never looking for anointing for miracles. I was never looking to see blind eyes open, wheelchairs. I wasn't looking for money. I was not even seeking to be a man of God. There was a desire. A desire locked up in my inside. I didn't want to know about God. I wanted to know Him. You know, when we say these things in church, people nod. But truly, they do not even understand what they are nodding for. Hallelujah. And I would lock myself for days praying and saying, Lord, I'm not looking for ministry. I just want your presence. I would pray and cry for hours. And I say, Lord, this hunger is taking me where I cannot explain. And if you do not visit me, I may die. Listen, I'm giving you my testimony. And I remember times when I would be worshipping I hope some of you may have grace to believe what I'm saying. And I would see a literal cloud, a mist, a literal cloud, not some hallucination, would come into my room. The cloud of his glory. And sometimes it will form the shape of a man. I wasn't looking for power. I wanted him. Because I knew that if I find him, every other thing will be found hallelujah i was not seeking to understand principles i was not seeking to understand church growth principles or academic success principles don't get me wrong all i wanted was him hallelujah and his presence would come and sometimes i would not know when time would just pass it would look like five minutes 
only for me to open my eyes and see that he's gone six hours seven hours because his shekinah glory many of us sing it but there is such a dimension you will only seek him and find him when you seek him with all your heart many of us have been seeking him with part of our heart hallelujah please listen to what i'm sharing I remember I would go to the dam from morning till night. I would just sit down there like a madman, crying and studying and saying, Lord, I need to know you. I need to see your power and your glory in my life. I need to see your grace. Jesus, you are not a myth. You are not a legend. There are many of us, if you were born from you were born in Muslim families, you would never have any desire. The conviction you have now is not enough to have made you a Christian if you were a Muslim. The conviction you have right now about God, if you were a Muslim, is not potent enough to have made you a Christian. It's only for some of us we inherited our Christianity because there was no other option. And I sought for His presence like my life. Listen to me. I started seeing the grace of God in my life in fearful ways. I would lock up myself somewhere and I would be praying and fellowshipping with the Spirit. And people would come and a great distance before they would get to me. I would come and see people slain in the Spirit. What was happening I could not explain. I wasn't looking for power. I didn't even know that there were dimensions of God that could lead to these kinds of experiences. Are you getting my point? I'm showing us where we have been getting it wrong in this our journey of Christianity. The, the body of Christ must get back into genuine pursuit of God, not the quest for power. There are people who will fast for one million years, they will never get certain dimensions of grace. It's not an impartation. It's a reward for walking with the Spirit. Hallelujah. And I kept praying and crying and said, Lord, reveal yourself to me. I had opportunities to begin to bless God's people. I would be talking and people would come and sit for hours and begin to shake under the anointing and begin to have all kinds of experiences and I'm just talking I wasn't preaching I was only communicating to them my thoughts with the Holy Spirit Hallelujah I remember in the night when everyone was asleep I would get a chair and sit and I would be able to look at the sky and I'll just be staring and say Lord show me your glory what did Moses see what did the ancients see what did our father see that sponsored their Christianity that money could not take away that passion that power could not take away that passion what did they see and ladies and gentlemen one night I was in my room quietly minding my business and his majesty came into my room Jesus the Christ the desire of my heart that which I live and I will die for I stopped being a Christian that day and I became an ardent follower of Christ an ardent follower and when he stood before me, I knew that Christianity was not a religion. And I knew that many Christians do not even know what they have been called into. He didn't tell me anything. His face was like the brightness of the morning. As I'm speaking to you right now, I, can, I still can sense that presence because he's in this place. Hallelujah. And he stood before me. 
and I was lying down like a dead man. I know what Isaiah felt. Jesus, the king, and you agree that died for you was standing right in front of me. I wouldn't trade him for silver or gold. Look, let me tell you something. When you see him, there is nothing else that will matter in this life. I'm infecting you with a passion that is greater than a nice sermon that will outlast your stay on this campus, that will outlast your profession. I have seen the vanity of life and pursuit outside of his presence. And all he did was to stretch his right hand towards me. And the Bible says the right hand of God is power. That power that men have died looking for. That power that men go to harbor homes to look for. That power that people try to manipulate for. There was a beam of light that left the person of Jesus Christ and entered me. There is no human way I would have survived that light. It's like taking the sun and putting it inside a human being. That's what happened. Your Bible says the entrance of thy word. What does it give? And there was the word standing. And the light came from him. And from that day till forever, till forever, there's something that burns in my spirit that I cannot explain. And everywhere I go, my first assignment is to plant that hunger in the heart of as many who desire. We have two sessions. And while I was on my way here, that was what the Lord was communicating in my heart. He said, now it's not just the time for teaching. He wants to draw some of us closer to tell you where you are standing. He needs to draw you to come up higher, to experience certain realities. Forget about trying to look for it will come. Forget about the issue of prosperity or your troubles. Just seek his presence. Hallelujah. And from that day, I have seen miracles and the grace of God in unprecedented and humbling dimensions. I have seen things I would never have been able to fast and pray for. Every time that majestic presence shows up, all I do is just step back and become a puppet. And his glorious presence finds expression. You can be a nice preacher, but it takes more than words to change people. There is an ability. Just like many of you are sitting down right now, you are surprised at the degree to which you are concentrating and giving me your attention because ordinarily some of us would not some of us just have this busyness in our spirits I want you to know that there is much more than you have seen in Christ I want you to know that there are dimensions that God can take you that you will shake this campus shake your department shake your faculty there is something his presence can do to you that will revolutionize your intellect you will become like a magnet there is something his presence can do to you that will bring levels of favor that no anointing oil can give you. there is something his presence can do to you that what other people die to get will come to you as a reward I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love your truth. I love, I love, I love your presence. I love, I love, I love all truth.
the Lord can give you something that will make your generation call you blessed. Hallelujah. He said, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. There is something that can come upon you that will make your degree relevant. Without it, your degree can look like a piece of paper. Less than 10% of youth in Nigeria ever get employed within the first two years of their graduation. Good students. I'm not talking of bad students. The unemployment rate in the country is alarming. But there is something you can carry that will make a nation look for you. That thing is his glorious presence. Is it making sense to you what I'm sharing with you tonight? There are many Because as I'm standing here, there are so many things the Lord is showing me. Our first call is not to learn about being royal priesthood. It doesn't take so much to learn about that. But I'm telling you, tonight is a meeting of repentance. The word repent does not mean repent from sin necessarily. It means to turn aside and begin to pursue accurately. Hallelujah. We are going to drop our titles, our qualifications. I'm not asking you whether you have raised the dead. I'm not asking you whether you are on five points or you are on probation. At this point, it is not relevant in our discussion. We are going to open up our hearts. And we are going to cry unto the Lord and say, Search me. There is no pretense about it. Search me. Tonight, there will be a circumcision in the hearts of many people. For many of us, God will cut away associations, cut away relationships. Don't let anybody tell you it does not matter. It does. Absolutely, it does. There is a protocol that makes His presence become manifest in your life. And this has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with religious longevity of getting born again. It has everything to do with hunger. Genuine hunger. I told the Lord, if you never bless me again, I cannot stop loving you. I, I don't know how to not love you again. There is, no, there is no feature to undo it in my life again. If it takes away every anointing, if it takes away ministry, if it takes away everything he has made me, I still love him. My love for God has nothing to do with anointing. Has nothing to do with power. Has nothing to do with a man trying to find relevance or trying to grow in ministry. I care less about those things. I'm telling you sincerely. This is the secret of authentic power. This is the secret of the manifested presence of God. This is the secret of impact. You carry this kind of atmosphere and you step in you will transform people there is no degree of hardness that can stand the presence of god when you truly carry the authentic i tell you as soft as i'm speaking right now these words are breaking some of you into pieces because they come the bible says that the word of god is like a hammer it does something to your spirit it rattles your theology to its foundation. It brings you to a point where you begin to know and comprehend that He is our life. There are so many students who truly do not desire God. The campus is full of people who love God, but it's amazing. God has become many things to many people. For many of us, God is an errand boy. Go and bring me first class. Go and increase my CGPA for me. Go and make my uncle to visit me. Go and bring me papa. Go and bring me a husband. Go and bring me a wife. Jesus Christ, the entire scope, our, the circumference of our Christian pursuit is centered around needs. And let me tell you, God is more than willing to give you than you are willing to accept. But there is a protocol. His presence precedes all things. 
That's the only thing that can make you be a billionaire and still love him like a baby. That's the only thing that can make you be a first class student and your passion for God is as if you are a pastor. That's the only thing that can make you see a carryover on the board. And while people say it's the end of your life, you smile and you say, if I wore a matriculation gown, I will surely wear a convocation gown. God is faithful. How I love to worship you. And how I love to stand for you. And even though it hurts me for every step I take, and even though it pains me for every move I make, but I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. The position I've made. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. How I love to worship you. And how I love to live for you. me for every step I take and even though it hurts me for every move I make I'm determined I love him I can never ever do without you I love him I can never ever do without you I love you, I love you, I can never ever do without you, I love you, I can never ever do without you, I love you, I can never ever do without you, I love you, I love you. I can never ever do without Simple song, sing that for me. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. Lord, I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. you get to this point in the spirit there are many things that will begin to happen to your Christian experience the first thing that will happen to you is that when you encounter his presence the true picture of yourself will be revealed to you 
Hallelujah. I preached a message called the evidence of genuine intimacy with God. There are parameters. There are indices. Don't just tell us you love God. The Bible did not leave us in confusion. Many people say it's just of the heart. Uh-uh. It can be seen. There are parameters given in scripture. When you, when you encounter the glory, something happens to you. And he said, Moses, take off your shoes. All the experiences that you've had, take it off. For where you stand is holy ground. I'm about to give you a new experience. Your shoe is a symbol of your walk prior to that time. And he said, remove it. Take away everything you have claimed to know about me. I know you are a great man of God. I know you even have a fellowship. You have a church. Take it off. I want to reintroduce myself to you. Hallelujah. For many years, I served the Lord. I preached. I saw miracles, dramatic miracles. But one day, when the Lord showed me the true state of my heart, I was ashamed of myself. I wasn't fornicating or doing this. But there is just something that His presence does for you. That although you know that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, when you see that level of glory, you will say, Woe is me, for I am undone. Hallelujah. And from that day, I repented from doing ministry. And I started following God with the whole of my heart. Let our King be lifted up. Oh, around our life to keep us in check those things become unnecessary when you love the Lord when you truly love the Lord the fear of God will come upon you in a way you don't need a preacher to run away from fornication or immorality it's not about struggling it's a realm you have risen above love has consumed you to an extent that there is something in you that does not belong to this earth realm again. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are certain levels of deliverances that just happen in His presence. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty and I will say of the Lord. That will be my testimony in the secret place. I will say of the Lord. I'm not just going to hear what somebody is saying about somebody. What the person says. I will say he will give me an experience in that secret place that will give me a name a name that I will give him not a name that Jews gave that I call the name that is defines the scope of my experience with him when they call him Rafa it was because they pressed to encounter a dimension when they call him Jire it was because they pressed. What name will your pressing give God that you will give your generation? What name will your encounter that you will seek God such that you will reveal a dimension of Him that has not been known? Hallelujah. And tonight, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1, he says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. He says, let us lay aside every weight 
and the sin that doth easily beset us and then that we should run with perseverance the race that is set there is a protocol to getting his glory it's not a gift it's a reward the earth is the Lord the Bible says and the fullness thereof the walls the systems and all they that dwell therein the Bible says for he has founded it upon the waters and established it upon the sea and there was a question in the spirit he said who shall ascend to the hill there is a hill where the Lord resides not everybody can climb there he says who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place here's the condition he that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully the Bible says as a result he shall receive a reward from the Lord and a blessing from the God of Jacob and then he says this is the generation that means there is a prophetic mandate upon a generation that a time will come when a generation will genuinely seek the face of God and I'm glad to announce to you that we are that generation that will seek his face until we get something we can give our generation I'm charging us because we're entering a session of deep prayers and worship. This is how we're going to start this conference. Deep prayers and worship. And in that there will be a pruning and a circumcision. Are you getting me? Many of us as a result of this meeting, certain relationships and associations will be broken at once. Completely. Some of us, certain habits and the encumbrances that stop us from entering all of these dimensions. For some of us, God will once again become a priority in our lives. He will not become many of the things down the ladder of our soul. He will dethrone everything that is not Him until He becomes magnified. Until He sits down in that throne. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta, gotta be, be more, more than this For desperate people do desperate things And we press in me There's gotta be more, gotta be more There's gotta be more than this There's gotta be more, gotta be more Help me say, gotta be more than this Listen I want to ask you a question what did you come for tonight what did you come to see what did you come to experience did you just come to see miracles did you just come to see a preacher did you just come to honor a meeting did you just come to um, to Communicate your solidarity with something that is godly. Hallelujah. Hello, God's favorite. We believe you are truly blessed by this message from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Salman. Like I, would, I always encourage us to go back on this video after now, watch it over and over again for a better understanding reflect on the words pray with them and as you do that the lord almighty will bless us and let's remember that the word of god is meant to be believed not just heard it's easy to feel inspired right now but the real challenge comes in the week ahead will you take what god has spoken and allow it to change your actions your thoughts your behavior your relationships and be intentional this week I want to encourage us that we should be intentional whether it's in our families our workplaces with our colleagues our neighbors let's be intentional with whatsoever we do and the comment section is always always open for your thoughts your prayer requests your opinions they are always welcome just drop into the comment section and as for the prayer requests we will pray with you and don't forget to share this video share with your friends share with your families your loved ones your neighbors and your enemies they are never never exempted share it with them and as you do that the lord almighty will bless you and uplift you in all you do and don't forget to subscribe for those of us that are just coming across reflector hub 
TV for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on this life changing videos and preachings and powerful videos that you watch here. Uh, welcome for our first time viewers, for our first timers. If you're just coming across Reflector Hub TV for the first time, you're welcome. Like I said earlier, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to like, don't forget to also hit the notification bell. So all of the videos I'll be posted here on Reflector Hub TV, you'll be notified about them. Thank you so much for staying up to the end of this video. Stay blessed and see you in the next video.